The Geeky Review is brought to you by Quick Draw Services. They create high quality whiteboard animation videos with their team of former Disney animators, professional scriptwriters, and a world renowned graphics team. When you need a custom video to explain your company or product, visit quickdrawservices.com. I'm Bill Rogers, and you are watching The Geeky Review, where we show off the best geek products and then give them away on social media. Each week, we'll be showcasing all sorts of geek products from a variety of geek companies. Some items will include costumes, prop, tech, collectibles, toys, games, comics, movies, and more. The Giga Review sponsors and you are really what make this TV show great. The sponsors provide geek products that we can give away to you guys. So remember to share the videos and posts with all of your friends, because the more fans we have, the more giveaways we can do. We want this to be a very beneficial place for both geek companies to advertise their products and for geeks to come and win free merchandise. On today's episode of the Geek Review, we have some awesome products to review. Frozen artwork created by artist Heather Tyre from Wild Star Tempest. A beachcomber from Fred that will help you comb through the fishiest of hairstyles. The keyboard waffle iron that allows you to make computer keyboard shaped waffles. And the charge hub from Limitless Innovations that allows you to charge multiple devices all in one spot. And after the episode, all of these items will be up for grabs on our social media sites. Wisconsin, birthplace of the hamburger, frozen custard capital of the world, and home to Culver's. Bacon Deluxe, chocolate shake, that's our signature combination. Fresh, never frozen, seared Midwest beef, topped with hardwood smoke, center cut bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Our shakes start with a premium vanilla custard, then we add rich, thick chocolate, handcrafted right before your eyes. Bacon and chocolate, what could be better? Welcome to Delicious. The best thing at Chakarama is the green jello. No way. Chiffon jello is the best. No. I like the taste of it because it's slime and my favorite thing is to jiggle it. I love the lemon chiffon jello because it just reminds me of my grandma. You'd fold in the whipped cream and blend it till it was smooth and it tastes just like that at Chakarama. Well, you might like that one, but I like mine. <laughs> the choice is yours at Chakarama. Game Changers is a store owned and run by geeks. We have some of the, the best collections in Utah either working for us or shopping with us. We carry everything from old Atari, occasionally a little older than that, up through Xbox One, PS4, and then everything in between. We buy, sell, and trade, and we give better trade values than I, I think most places in town. I recommend bringing it in here, let us take a look, we'll appraise it, and we'll get you a fair number for it. Really, if it's video game related, we'll take it and we'll sell it. If you've got an opinion about a game, guarantee we do too. Now here's a hair product that's sure to lure you in. The Beachcomber from Fred is the perfect hair comb for any fishing fan. Fred is a company that focuses on well-designed stuff that solves a problem, puts a smile on your face, and doesn't cost a fortune. They are known as the original home of that thing you really like. So the next time you're looking for a creative and fun gift for someone, or for yourself, don't spend your time searching endlessly on the internet. Spend your time finding what you want. Visit Fred on Amazon and you'll be very delighted in their products and in their pricing. Fred has so many great products, and this fish comb and case is sure to improve your hairstyle. It'll help you look more sophisticated 
This comb fits into a soft silicone sheath that looks just like a fish. When it's time to comb your hair, simply remove the fish skeleton and start combing. The comb is made of durable polypropylene and the tail acts as the handle as you comb your hair. There's two types of bristles on this fish. On the dorsal side, the bristles are close together and on the ventral side of the fish, the bristles are further apart, making it easy to comb through any fishy hairstyle. When you're finished, you can easily slide the skeleton back into the bright orange casing and the beachcomber fits great into a purse or bag. The beachcomber is a perfect present for anyone who enjoys fishing, scuba diving, or boating. It's great to comb a head of hair, a beard, or even a catfish mustache. So whether you want a hairstyle that's off the hook, don't want to flounder around with stray hairs anymore, or just fishing for some compliments on your new hairstyle, the beachcomber from Fred is sure to be the catch of the day. <laughs> And now it's time for the giveaway. To win this brand new beachcomber from Fred, simply log onto our social sites and enter the giveaway. Like, comment, share, and tag all of your fishing friends. If you don't win the giveaway, you can still order one on the Amazon shop of Fred. When you want to escape making regular waffles, shift into the creative waffle making world with the keyboard waffle iron. The keyboard waffle iron started as a college project and turned into a worldwide geek necessity. The first prototype started out as a concept art piece of an old typewriter turned into a prop waffle iron. The image went viral online and fans wanted the real thing. And thus, caps lock, the keyboard waffle iron was born. Shift one. All right, if we're gonna be making all these keyboard puns, we gotta keep tab. So that one puts us at five. The keyboard waffle iron is so easy to use. Simply prep, pour, flip, and eat. So even if you're a terrible cook, this waffle iron will make you look like you graduated from culinary school, or maybe even typography school. To cook a waffle, control C the directions, prep your favorite batter and pour it into the waffle iron. Hold it over your stovetop and flip it to assure an evenly cooked waffle. When you control O the waffle iron, you'll have a perfect computer keyboard shaped waffle. That is control alt delicious. Pour on your favorite waffle toppings, control X your waffle and enjoy. And your meal isn't limited to just breakfast. You can make keyboard shaped meals for lunch, dinner, and dessert. Omelets, brownies, hash browns, calzones, turnovers, and so much more. In fact, they have a digital recipe book with over 20 keyboard recipes. Shift semicolon O. The keyboard waffle iron features a die cast, non-stick, easy to clean up aluminum design, making this waffle iron very durable and strong. The comfortable curved handles are bake light and heat resistant for easy cooking and flipping. The handles have a magnetic catch for secure flipping and easy opening. And the best part, the keyboard waffle iron is very slim and wireless, making for easy cleanup and storage. So you can tote this around for your next brunch, vacation, or camping trip. It's key to remember that the keyboard waffle iron is a perfect present for your IT coworker, your tech-minded friend, or someone who's a complete nerd or geek. I know you just thought of someone when I said that. This would be the perfect present for them. You might even want to control S this video to reference later. So when you want to take control or command of your meals with something fun and creative, insert the keyboard waffle iron into your home. It's fun, it's creative, it takes up little space, and you'll never want to control Z that decision. And now, it's time for the giveaway. To win this brand Control N keyboard waffle iron, visit our social sites today. Like, comment, share, and tag all of your tech friends. If you don't win the giveaway, you can still order the keyboard waffle iron on Amazon or the keyboardwafflein.com. If you know of any keyboard or tech puns that we missed, make sure to comment and let us know. And when you order the keyboard waffle iron on their website, enter promo code geekery to get $10 off. Precision Gadget Repair does all of the repairs in the back room for our consoles, our iPhones, and iPads. If you've got one that you have, uh, you dug out of the closet and doesn't fire up properly, we always encourage you to bring it in. We do repairs on the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, really everything up to PS4, HDMI ports, Xbox One's not reading games, we really do it all. We do everything from power port replacements to lasers, drive realignments, hard drive replacements, really anything that can go wrong. I recommend bringing it in here, let us take a look, we'll appraise it, and we'll get you a fair number for it. The best thing at Chuck Aram is the old-fashioned brownies. Or is it the frosted ones? The old-fashioned brownies, they have that crusty top. But the frosted brownies have a rich frosting top. Would it be old-fashioned or would it be frosted? Or one of each with a little ice cream. The choice is yours at Chuck Aram. 
Kids Embrace has managed to create an amazing Batman Deluxe high chair that is multifunctional, comfortable, and adjustable. It has six seat height positions. The high chair also has five positions for reclining the backrest and premium easy to wipe fabric. If Batman was gonna pick a high chair, this would definitely be the one he'd pick. So if you're a parent looking for a quality built, awesome looking safe high chair that your child will love, then get the Deluxe DC Comics Batman high chair from Kids Embrace. We travel to Liberty, Texas, where one woman provides therapeutic riding at no cost to children with special needs. She does a lot for our kids, and for her to do it for free for children with disabilities, that is amazing. We are here to celebrate and honor you. <laughs> Thank you. Treat the hero in your life to a fresh frozen custard, Culver's Concrete Mixer. I wanted to make a difference in the community, it's something I need before I go to heaven. To Donna, our hero. Do you want to charge multiple devices at the same time without using up all the outlets in the home? Limitless Innovations has created the Charge Hub, which is fast, safe, and will solve your charging problems. Limitless Innovations is a consumer product company focusing on the design and development of various cutting edge retail merchandise with a philosophy focused on customers and quality. In 2014, Limitless identified a need and an opportunity in the customer electronics market and introduced the Charge Hub. Limitless Innovations has so many great products and the Charge Hub will charge your life. The Charge Hub is a multi-port USB charging station with a unique set of features. The average adult has three USB chargeable devices and is always looking for ways to charge them fast, efficient, and as safe as possible. The issue that most families run into is there isn't enough plugs to charge everyone's device. You wish you had 10 more power outlets to accommodate your family's needs. The solution is obviously not to install more outlets in your living room. The solution is Charge Hub. The Charge Hub was Best of CES award-winning product for two years, and it's easy to see why. It's a space saver. The issue is there's too many devices and too little outlets. The Charge Hub is a device that allows you to charge multiple devices from one location. Simply plug the Charge Hub into a nearby outlet, plug the cable links cords into the Charge Hub, then connect your devices for a fast, safe, and organized charge. The number of devices per household is increasing every year, and with parents and kids each having multiple devices to charge, your home can quickly become a jungle gym of cords. And when the devices aren't being charged, the house walls are decorated with a wide variety of plugs and power strips. It's time to clean up your life and get a Charge Hub that allows your family to charge all of their devices in one spot. The Charge Hub is also very fast and safe. It uses patent pending smart speed technology to provide an impressive 2.4 amps per port and it's compatible with almost any USB chargeable device. The Charge Hub not only delivers optimum quality but it's also very safe. The Charge Hub has undergone extensive testing to secure multiple product quality, safety, and durability certifications to assure you have a quality product that will last a long time. Limitless Innovations has created a variety of charge hubs to meet your family's needs and styles. Whether it's a family of two or seven, Limitless Innovations has created a charge hub for you. There's the Charge Hub 3 that allows you to charge up to three devices at the same time. Perfect for college students, for small families, and even at the office. And there's also the Charge Hub 5 that, you guessed it, allows you to charge up to five devices at the same time. The Charge Hub 5 is great for business owners with multiple devices, families with kids, and anyone who wants to stay connected. And for those families with lots of kids or families with lots of devices, the Charge Hub 7 is the solution you've been waiting for. This will allow you to charge up to seven devices at the same time, all in one place. Phones, tablets, cameras, gaming devices, music players, Bluetooth devices, and so much more. Imagine your world simplified with the Charge Hub. The Charge Hub also comes in many different colors to choose from. So you can pick the Charge Hub that fits your style. Want to put your company logo, a picture of your dog, or a family photo on the face of the Charge Hub? No problem. Customers can use the free online design studio to customize a Charge Hub. Print off an image for the Charge Hub you currently own, or they even have an option to get a new Charge Hub shipped to you with a picture all already in it. The Charge Hub not only allows you to charge your devices at home, but also anywhere you go in the world. The Charge Hubs have the ability to be used in any vehicle and in any country. The adapter accessories allow you to power your Charge Hub from your car outlet while you're on the go. But what about those trips around the globe? Charge Hub has you covered. They have many options for international travel adapters to make sure you have a fast, safe power anywhere in the world. 
And to keep your charge hub safe while traveling, Limitless Innovations has made this very sturdy travel case to store your charging goodies. And to make sure you can charge your devices, Limitless Innovations has a variety of cable options to choose from. Overall, the Charge Hub is a perfect solution for anyone who wants to charge multiple devices at the same time while being safe and fast. So join the Charge Hub Nation and get a Charge Hub today. They're very affordable and make great presents for anyone who needs to charge a device. If your household doesn't have a Charge Hub yet, grab one from Amazon and you'll quickly find your life more organized and charged. And now, it's time for the giveaway. To win the Charge Hub 5 with 5 cables, log on to our social sites and enter the giveaway. Like, comment, share, and tag all of your friends who need a better way to charge their devices. If you don't win the giveaway, you can still order one from the Limitless Innovations Amazon page. Joining me now is one of the amazing artists at Wildstar Tempest, Heather Tyre. Heather, thanks for joining us on the show. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, before we dive into um, all of this uh, artwork and illustration that you've been involved in, uh, we, want, we want to learn about the artist. Tell us a little bit about your story and kind of some of your techniques as well. Oh, story. Where do you want to start? Um, well, I've always wanted to be an artist since I was yay high. And um, when my mom dad asked me what I wanted to grow up to be, I said, I'm going to grow up to be a famous artist someday. And they're like, oh, that's nice, sweetie. It's kind of like when your kid says they want to be a prima ballerina or an astronaut. You're like, uh-huh, sure. Well, it just kind of stuck. And here I am doing what I want to do. I'm still working on the famous part, but I'm an artist, and I get to do it as a job. I love it. So uh, I've been doing this for a long, long time, obviously. Didn't go to college or anything. I got a couple of classes is all in basic art, and then it's just been a lot of work and study after that. It's individual. Like, I've had people come and interpret it their own way, which is awesome. I love, that's what I love about doing the symbolic work. Because I can have my own interpretation of what it means, but they can personalize it to their own experience. And what I love even more than that is when they'll come, people come to the booth, and they'll immediately think, I have to have that piece, and they don't know why. And then I tell them what it means, and they're like, I knew it. So it's saying something to them subliminally, I guess, in a way that speaks much deeper than a, a set of words I can hand them on a piece of paper, which is really, really quite rewarding for me. I love that. How long would you say, say for this one behind us that I am, um, how long did that one take? Well, uh, I started this sketch about 18 months ago. If I were to compress it all into a certain amount of time that I was working full time on it, it would take about two and a half months. So, uh, but I had to learn to be a fast painter. I have kids and they like to stick their fingers in paint. So. I have to be quick. That's awesome. Now let's talk about your involvement with Wildstar Tempest. What what do you do there and um, how are you involved? Well, as Wildstar Tempest as a whole, we kind of as a, um, a collaborative group that all have similar, um, a similar directive. We want to be able to uplift people and bring people messages that are going to make or help them make their lives better, whether that's through literature or through imagery, whatever it is, and that's kind of our goal as a whole. And so when I got together with Alexander and we started working this out, it's just become this, well, it's been 16 years that we've been working together on this project in a way, and it's evolved from, you know, just a couple of paintings at the beginning, which started with his book. I did a cover like 16 years ago for that, and to actually print it, printing the book and, and selling that, and then of course having a giant booth full of artwork. So it's really grown quite a bit, and quite honestly, we have met our goal on so many levels. It's really, really pretty neat. Now today we're going to be talking about one of your frozen Disney pieces. Uh, tell us about that, what was involved in it, um, kind of the inspiration for it, how you kind of brought it all together. Okay, well, um, first things first, I have to watch the film. So I always go back, even though I've watched it before, I always go back and refresh and try to pick apart things in it that like. Um, originally, when I had submitted sketches, I was going to do a full-blown Elsa because that was like the hottest thing was to have her in her grown-up version. But every time I watched the film after doing that initial sketch and submitting it, I was like, hey, my favorite part of the film is when they're little. And you just don't see it very often. In fact, I don't think I've seen hardly any images of them when they're kids. But that was my all-time favorite part of the film was the joy that they had before all the trials came in and how much excitement there was in what they were doing. And so... Um, so that kind of stuck with me, so I set the other one aside and just decided I didn't even get permission to do it. I just started, um, which is usually not the case. You're supposed to get some permission first. <laughs> I break the rules. Anyway, so I decided to do this, and what I liked about it was it brought back memories of me and my kids when they were little, and they would show that excitement in their face, and you did, that's just, it's what, those things you can't ever get on camera, because you're never with the camera in your hands when they do that face or capture that, so that's what I wanted to get. Anyway, so when I did this big long search trying to find images that would work, um, 
couldn't find anything, so I just had to like piece together parts that I could find all over. And um, none of them were actually my kids, of course. It was just memories that brought it up. Anyway, so that's how it came to that point. When I submitted it, I had I originally had her with a toothy smile, um, Elsa, and they said, no, you're breaking a cardinal rule. You can't have any good people with showing teeth, so I had to paint over it again. That was really hard. Not, I don't usually have to do that, but anyway, so there's a, there was a little bit more involved in this painting than other ones because I haven't made any corrections on other paintings. Are you involved with Disney as well? I am. I am a licensed artist with Disney Fine Art, and so every painting I create, I have to get approval through them. They take it through Disney Corporate, and they go and make sure that everything's okay and get approval to make sure that they like it and that they'll actually merchandise it. So they are in the Disney parks and all the Disney stores and everywhere else you can find Disney stuff. That's very cool. So it's not just uh, one of the fan arts you'll find at a Comic-Con, but it's an actual Disney piece. We have real permission, so that feels good. I wanted this to be the focus. I wanted their expressions to be the part that was the most important. And I've actually had people come up and they're like, oh, that's super cute. And then they don't even realize that it's a Frozen piece because they didn't even see Olaf in the corner. And whenever I create a Disney piece, as much as I'm trying to cater to the Disney fan and to the Disney corporate, it's really about capturing the spirit that's going to speak to the person who's buying it. It's got to tell a story to them and it's got to be meaningful to them beyond the character. And so this, to make Olaf like the center of this image or more central to this image I think would have destroyed their expression and what it means. And so for me that's that's all very thought out on how the uh, composition lays out when I put it together. What's most important in it and all, everything else has to kind of take back seat to that thing. And so that's why Olaf was taken where you, where you almost can't see him. You just, he just a portion of his cheek going, you know, going around and that's all you need. That's all you need. And those people who love Frozen, they're like, oh I love Fro-, you know, Olaf, he's so cute over here and you're not really paying attention to Olaf. This is what is the most meaningful. So that's all a part of every image that I create is it needs to go beyond the the surface value. Now, there's there's a there's a, a lot more than just on the surface. Um, <laughs> as you're signing that, um, you guys will notice on this painting there's a uh, great composition. Um, there's a focus on it. Everyone connects with the eyes, of course. But the focus wants to be on the girl, so you have one girl facing inwards. You have some leading lines with Olaf's nose towards the eyes and his oh, hand. Oh, like this. You go right straight down in this circle. And it just keeps going around and around. And that's also something I very consciously put through in all of my paintings, is making sure that if you're leading off with a view, there's something there to catch it and bring you right back again. So that's the way I treat everything that I'm creating, so that you don't, you're not going to leave the page for any reason. That's awesome. It'll keep you, keep you going in. That's, that's the evidence of a good painting. <laughs> So. <laughs> and now it's time for the giveaway. This one that we're going to be giving away right here, um, we're also going to have Heather sign this for us uh, right on camera to you lucky giveaway winner. All right, there we go. It's all signed and ready to go. If you'd like to win this Never Let It Go art piece from Heather Tyre from Wild Star Tempest, simply log on to our social sites and enter the giveaway. If you don't win the giveaway, you can still order one from wildstartempest.com. Heather, thanks so much for joining us on the show. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Today we have showcased some great products from some great companies. And now it's time to give them all away. Go to our social media sites and get entered for the giveaway. It's pretty simple. Like our page, like the post, comment and share. And remember to tag your friends in the post. And remember, the ultimate giveaway for our season finale is the Dalgoma Neva 3D printer that allows you to print high quality 3D objects right in your home in a very fast, safe and easy way. And there's an added bonus that we'll reveal in the last episode of the season. So don't miss an episode of the Geeky Review. And in the meantime, check out Dalgoma3D.com. Tune in next week for a Batman episode, and we'll have some more great products to showcase and give away. Check out these great companies online, and remember to follow the Geeky Review for the best geek news. Good luck on the giveaways, and we'll see you next time on the Geeky Review. Is your company in dire need of a marketing video that gets results? Do you feel like people don't pay attention to your message? Well, you're not alone. Like most companies, you probably wonder, how can I bring in more business? What you need is a quick draw video. We take your message and bring it to life through great drawings and motion graphics that draw in and keep your viewers' attention. Celebrate better marketing results with quick draw services. Call us today and put the power of our drawings 
behind your message. Wisconsin, birthplace of the hamburger, frozen custard capital of the world, and home to Culver's. Bacon Deluxe, chocolate shake, that's our signature combination. Fresh, never frozen, seared Midwest beef, topped with hardwood smoked center cut bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Our shakes start with a premium vanilla custard. Then we add rich, thick chocolate, handcrafted right before your eyes. Bacon and chocolate, what could be better? Welcome to Delicious. The best thing at Chuck Aram is the old fashioned brownies. Or is it the frosted ones? The old fashioned brownies, they have that crusty top, but the frosted brownies have a rich frosting top. Would it be old-fashioned or would it be frosted? Or one of each with a little ice cream. The choice is yours at Chuckarama. Based on a true story. Meet Chef Frank Murphy of North Bend High School of Culinary Arts. He wanted a way to train his culinary students so they would graduate with more skills than just baking cookies. He wanted to teach them to love cooking and to learn every aspect of running a business. Chef Frank discovered the solution to his culinary concern with the Fire Within mobile pizza ovens. Fire Within mobile units are the pinnacle of the wood fire industry. Chef Frank gained access to the continual free Fire Within University that teaches him the foundations of how to start a business. He can also interact with over 750 oven owners and restauranteurs, something he was able to pass on and share with his students for many years. The pizza oven even generated revenue for the high school that helps to support the school's culinary program and catering services. So if you're a chef instructor of a culinary school and want to teach your students to love cooking, then call Fire Within today. Fire Within, helping you propel culinary instructors in high school or college to the next level. Now here's a product that's sure to lure you in. That one was better. I could feel it. Feel it in my skeleton. Woo! Bloosh. Zzz, bloosh. And now it's time for the giveaway. <laughs> and tag all of your fishy friends. And now. <laughs> when you want to escape the waffle man. <laughs> And thus, caps lock, the capital waffle iron. <laughs> so even if you're a terrible cook, this waffle iron will make you look like you graduated. Graduated. <laughs> <laughs>